My name is Skylar Baisa. I am a music composer. I am 16 years old and I am from Albany, California. I suppose first going to the sculpture farm it, and with the knowledge that I would be choosing a sculpture to base a piece off of, it was um, looking at the sculptures in like a different way and there's so many different sculptures, so many ideas. So it was actually overwhelming at first because every sculpture has a story um, or an idea that could be turned into music. I was drawn to the George Rickey sculpture because it was simple um, in a way that was like is a kinetic and it was just these parts that moved and I was drawn to it be because of that and it was like okay that's something that I can extract a very specific idea out of the way it moves and the way the sections align together that's sort of how I came to the concept of the piece, I should say. And then from the concept was like the minimalism inspiration and the lines and all of the results. Mm -hmm. um, the way the specific sculpture moved, it had these parts and they sometimes converged together and sometimes they're perpendicular and there's three of them. So there's lots of different relationships there. That was sort of the concept that propelled the feast forward. I, at that time, and I, maybe a little now, I was really interested in like the way space could be put into music because they're very different because music has time and space doesn't like interacts with time differently. So it was the idea of how could I in, put in the music these changing spatial things. And my solution to that, I'm not sure how successful um, in terms of like translating it, it was, but I think it worked out fine with sort of like the theme, it was turned upside down and moved around for like the rotation. And then when it converged, they all did the same thing. And then when it wasn't, they did different things. That, so it's sort of that question of putting space in music, which led me to the, that conclusion. I have in my head, there's like a feeling of where everything should be not necessarily all the details, but um, I usually have a structure in my head and then certain like moments. It's doing that and having to put the notes there. That's like, that's the challenge right now of me trying to figure out, okay, how do I do that? And how do I make sure that I'm not just putting a bunch of notes to put a bunch of notes? <laughs>